Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd. So it's my friends at Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host, Mikey. This is the bottle top stitch. This is a one complete stitch that you're seeing here, and it has a combination of a shell plus then um, this kind of puff stitch around here. Really easy to be able to maintain. We are going to do this. If you would like to do the uh, changing of the size, maybe for a shawl or a blanket, whatever you want to do, it's a multiple so four plus five. So keep going four, 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 four. Happy with the width, then add your five. Let's begin this stitch. Let's begin this stitch. It's in multiples of four plus five. So one, two, three, four. Wide enough, yes or no. Continue along if it's not. So one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. And when you're happy with the width of whatever you're making, if you want to lay it against something to get the size, then you just add four more, or sorry, five more. So one, two, three, four, and five. And this will be the balance point to be able to do this stitch. Let's do row number one. We're gonna do rows number one and two exactly the same way. And we're gonna go second chain from the hook on row number one. And you are going to apply one single crochet into the back hump of the chain. If you wish to use the regular chain, then you can do so, but I like the back hump, it looks nicer. So just single crochet all the way across your chain and I'll be right back. Come across your chain of just single crochet all the way. And then you're gonna turn your work and we're going to begin the next row. The next row, I just want another single crochet. So just chain up one and starting in the very first one you're coming out of, just single crochet in every stitch all the way across. And I'll be back at the end of the line in a moment. Coming all the way to the other side, one single in each right to the end, turn your work. And now we're gonna begin that fabulous bottle top stitch. Whenever you start a row for the bottle top, you are going to just chain four, which will equal a double treble. It doesn't make sense, but you have to trust it. So one, two, three, four. Reason why it doesn't make sense is using it for double treble, you chain five. It will look nicer if you only chain four though. In the next one, I only want you to use the back loop only. So if you're new to crochet, chances are you're not doing this uh, stitch today, but if you are, it, there's two strands that make up a stitch. If you go through both, that's a stitch. If you go through the first one, the closest to you, that's a front loop. And then this one here behind, that's considered a back loop. So wrap the hook three times and then go into the back loop. Pull through, and then pull through twos all the way back up. So once, and pull through two, and two, and two. This is the height of this stitch. So over the next four back loops, you are going to apply the bottle top stitch. To apply the stitch, you need to wrap the hook twice. So once and twice, and you're gonna go into the back loop only, and you are going to go in, and pull through and then pull through two and hold. So ignore these two loops on the hook. Yarn over and do the next one the same way. So going into the very next one, pull through, pull through two and hold. Do the next one, yarn over and into the next, pull through, pull through two and hold. You want four stitches in a row. So yarn over and in, pull through, pull through two and hold. So when you yarn over, you're going to pull through just the four stitches only, ignore the other two. So yarn over, pull through the four, and then yarn over, pull through two, and then yarn over, pull through two, and that took you all the way back to the top. But we're not quite done. Around this space here, we are going to do the puff stitching around it. So yarn over and go around, the post, so, and pull through once, do it again, around, so yarn over and around and pull through, yarn over and around and again, and do it one more time, and pull through. So you're gonna have all this mess on the hook. You're going to yarn over, and you're gonna pull through everything that you see. And then to proceed forward, you are going to chain two. And now you've just created the bottle with the top. To do this again, we're going to start in the very next one and do the four. So we have to wrap the hook twice and then going into the back loop only, pull through, pull through two and hold, ignore the other two that are already on the hook. Yarn over and in, pull through, pull through two and hold. 
Yarn over and in, pull through, pull through two and hold. Yarn over and in, pull through, pull through two and hold. When you yarn over, you're only gonna pull through the four that you just made. Then you're gonna yarn over and pull through the next two and yarn over, pull through the next two and then wrap the puff stitch around this space right here. So yarn over and do it once Yarn over and do it twice. Yarn over, do it three times. And yarn over, this is the fourth time. Pull through all four. And then chain two to move on. I'll demonstrate one more time. I'm just gonna move at a quicker speed. So yarn over twice and do the next four as a shell stitch. So going in and in. Once you've done it four times, yarn over, pull through just those four. And now yarn over, pull through two and two. And now wrap the puff stitch around this space. So yarn over and around once, twice, three times, and four times. And then yarn over, pull through everything. And then chain two to move on. So you're going to work your way all the way down the road doing this thing and eventually you'll have two stitches that are left. Stay on the back loops for those. Those are a double treble. So wrap the hook three times and in the back loop only. Just pull through and pull through twos all the way back to the top. And do it again. So wrap twice, or sorry, three times and in to the back loop. Pull through, pull through two, 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 and two. So we've now just successfully gone across. And so this side is looking like it's just bending over a little bit. You have to trust it and you're gonna turn your work and we're going to do a whole row of single crochets going back. I'll show you how to count it. To count it, each one of these bottle tops equals four stitches. So I'm just gonna chain one and I'll just put in one single into the first two. That's your kind of like your edge. So if you wanna count it, you have the space for one you have the next space right here for two, the top here for three, and then here for four. And then you start over again. So go for the space for one single. Go for this. This is number two. Go for the top right here. That's three. And then right here is four. So you've just maintained your counting of four. So for the space, right here for two, here for three, and here for four. And start again. So space, and right here, and right here, and here. And once you've done that, you can successfully just finish off your final two. So this is the top of this one. It looks like it belongs to here, but it doesn't. So you're just gonna go there. And then I want you to pick up the last chain here. And that is your two that will exist on the edge. And you're gonna turn your work. And then you can begin as many rows as you want to. I'll get yourself started again. And at the end of this, I would finish with at least one more single crochet on top of this to have the balance. So let's take you getting yourself set up and do one more row. To start another row of the bottle tops, you are going to chain four. That's considered a double treble in my case today. Starting in the next one, you're going to double treble, so you wrap the hook three times into the back loop only. And then pull through twos all the way back to the top. We're now going to start our bottle tops. So we begin by wrapping twice, and in the back loop, we go in, pull through, Pull through two and hold and do that so that you're capturing four like that. So this is two, three, and four. Once you have that done, pull through just the four, pull through just the two, and then you're back to the top. And then you're going to do the puff stitch. So once, twice, 
three times and four times. Pull through everything and then don't forget to chain two after you're done. And then you can move on to the next four, do the same thing. And at the very final two stitches, you'll put in two, um, one uh, double treble into each, and then you can single crochet your way back across. And when you look at the original sample, just like you see, you end up with a really nice structure here. And it's really kind of nice. And you can probably make some great shawls or very um, lightweight blankets using this amazing stitch. This is the bottle top crochet stitch.